Welcome back. Chef Binks is here this morning with some fast and easy meatless dishes for Lent. You know, it's, you don't want to fry fish in your house. You know what? Well, that's really what it is. You know, I absolutely love fish fries and Western New York is jam packed with so like a, a cornucopia of culinary t talent. I have to give a shout out to my my friend, yes. Chef Mike Andrzejewski. Way to go, bro. Good job, man. Beat Bobby Flay <laughs> and the Food Network the other day. Just one of the many examples of the the, the endless culinary talent. Fish um, fries are no exceptions. Yeah. I mean, you know, there are, it, like every corner has an amazing fish fry from firehouse to lodges to, to every restaurant serving amazing food. But that's one day a week, and I, I wouldn't fry a piece of fish in my house. No outside, way, because it'll yes, smell like it that for about eight that's years. That's it. Like, if you like the smell of fish fry in your house, do that, because it'll be there forever. It's the yeah. best potpourri in the world. But these but, are but awesome Some lighter ideas. options, some easier options. Pan searing a piece of tuna. Like, I love uh, I love some of the traditional cold salads and dishes modernized a little bit. Like a salad niçoise, very, very traditional, made with tuna, egg, green beans. Uh, what I've done is modernize that dish a little bit with a little bit of chichi beans, some asparagus, arugula, pickle. Arena Romano and Brussels sprouts. So this is a Love lighter version sprouts. as we as we start to warm up, and that's happening very very quickly. Um, you can start taking some of these things instead of using canned tuna. I did a piece of ahi tuna. You incorporate that right in. You end up with this beautiful dish. Don't you know? You don't have to worry about. It. Let's add those green beans right into because that's a nice touch. You can really modernize some of these classic favorite dishes. Make them quick, make them easy, and incorporate them in every day. Just because it's Lent, this this would be something I would serve in the summertime as well. Yeah, and even though the tuna steak is very thick, it's it's still very light. It, it, it is. It really, really is. And something like this, you could make one ahi tuna steak and serve it for two easily on a salad like this. Yeah. Along the same uh, thought process, Maria and I were talking during the break about how simple ideas can be converted over and changed very quickly into something different. This is basically the same concept. Different it's flavors. Different though. flavors. Same chichi beans a little bit of barley, some um, some arugula and peppers and onions. So it's the same thing. The only difference is a little bit of salsa, a little bit of hot sauce, a little bit of barbecue sauce. Well, and you spice have, to and it. we have something now that resembles like a, a Tex-Mex style type of dish. There you go. With this, a little bit of shrimp added into that. And my personal favorite from Western New York is salmon. I absolutely love favorite. salmon. It is. It's, you know, it's something that you can fish for here if you're a sportsman. It's something that's delicious. There's places that'll smoke it for you. Really, really easy dishes using fish, but yet in a way that's not going to blow up the house. And you can still support all those awesome fish fry places around West New York, which I like. I'm a big advocate. Yeah. I do it for the community. I don't go out every single week for fish just because I like it. No. Yeah, right. <laughs> I feel like I would need a defib or something if I ate fish fries all the time. Oh, so I, good, but not necessarily so, so good. good for you.